Hey there, this is Ed Herzog, and in this Elementor tutorial, what I want to do is I want to show you Action Links. Now, Action Links were released a while ago in Elementor, but I think they've kind of fallen by the wayside a bit because the way you go about setting up an Action Link isn't intuitive. It's not a widget that you find within the other widgets. And so a lot of people don't even know that these exist, but they're a very powerful feature. Now, they are a feature of Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you won't have access to the Action Links. But I still think, you know, if you're only using the free version, this video is worth watching so you can see what the action links are. And, you know, this may be a sort of feature that would help you decide to buy Elementor Pro. So, first of all, what are action links? Well, an action link is a link that you set up anywhere else you'd set a link. So it might be a link in this button. It might be a link in these social share buttons. It could be a link uh, in your, uh, in a header. It could be, you know, a link in a call to action. You know, whatever sort of links or buttons you have on your website, and it allows your, your site visitors to take specific actions that you want them to take. It could be, for example, uh, sending you an email. It could be sending you an SMS. It could be contacting you through Facebook Messenger. It could be sending you a message through WhatsApp. It could be uh, contacting you through Viber or Skype. It could be getting directions to your physical office building. It could be adding your event to their calendar. So there's a lot of powerful, powerful features built into the action links. So how do you set these up? Where do you find them? That's what I'm going to show you. Um, so, you know, basically anywhere you've got something that would take a link, right? So this contact us button, for example, you go to that and you're on your here first tab, the content tab. Here it says link. Now you don't add a link like you normally would. Instead, you click here on dynamic. Then you scroll down here, and under Action, you'll see Contact URL. So you click on that. Then you're going to click on it. Once it populates here and says Contact URL right there, you're going to click on it again. Now you're going to get a list of options. So you've got email, telephone, SMS, WhatsApp, Skype, Messenger, Viber, Waze, Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and Yahoo Calendar. So again, several different ways for people to contact you. Again, they can get driving directions via Waze, and they can add events to their Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, or Yahoo Calendar. It's very simple. So, you know, you go to email, and you can pre-populate an email that they send you. So you put in the email address, the subject, and the message. You can do telephone number. Again, you add in your telephone number, and they can call you directly by clicking on this link. You know, it would be something more for a cell phone, right? They click on this, and it... Act, you know, they call you directly from their cell phone just by clicking on this button. Same thing, SMS, send an SMS automatically. Uh, what's up? You know, again, messaging you through what's up. Skype, got several options with Skype. They can either call you, chat with you, show your profile, add you to their contacts, or send a vo voicemail. Facebook Messenger, again, messaging you on Facebook Messenger. Viber, uh, with Viber, they can contact you or add you. With Waze, again, you put in a location and they get directions to your business. Then Google Calendar, uh, you put a title, a description, a location, and then, so this isn't scrolling down for me, but you put a start and end date for your event, and then you can add your event to their calendar. Same thing with Outlook and Yahoo Calendar. So that's how you set it up. It's very simple, but also very powerful. And, you know, you have to think about how do you want to use this. So, for example, right here, you've got this Contact Us button. Now, this may work great, for example, on a desktop, right? This could link to a form, and they click on this, and it goes to a form, and they contact you that way. But particularly if they're on mobile, they might want to contact you a different way. So you could, you know, another great feature of Elementor Pro is you could create two different buttons, and then go into the advanced settings under responsive, and you're going to have one of the buttons show up on tablet and desktop laptop, and the other one show up on just on mobile. So you could duplicate this button, for example and say, uh, message us. And then you come over here and, and actually, let's see, let's put an icon in there. We'll go with, uh, we're gonna make this Facebook Messenger. So we'll put the Facebook Messenger on there. And you probably wanna change the color of this button. I don't know off the top of my head what the uh, hex code is for Facebook Messenger, but more or less like that, right? Uh, you want to change it to hover to that hover doesn't quite fit. Uh, so come over here and make that also a darker blue. That looks better. 
Um, and then, you know, again, then go to here to the content and go to the contact URL and set up for Messenger and you'll add your username and, and that's it. And then, you know, so then you get this button here where, uh, you know, this one could be for mobile and this one could be for, for your laptop or for, I'm sorry, laptop, desktop and tablet. And so they've got, you know, you've got one thing set up that makes sense for that, for the one particular environment and something else that's set up for a different sort of environment. And, you know, then they can message you directly. Again, this doesn't have to be Facebook Messenger. It could be WhatsApp. It could be Skype. It could be Viber, however you want to do it. Um, you could do the same thing, again, with these share buttons up here. Uh, you know, again, you might want to get rid of some of these. Uh, Google Plus isn't really around anymore. Instagram isn't a way to contact people. Medium, actually, most of these wouldn't really work in this context. But, you know, you may want to have some text up here that says, for example, contact us. And then put in some of these uh, some of these buttons. Put in a What's Up button. Put in a um, a Viber button. Put in a an icon for a telephone, right? And then connect those in there. Uh, you know, using that using what I showed you, going to the to the link and going to the dynamic, and then uh, and adding in the appropriate information. And then people have an easy way to contact you. Um, here's a map right here, right? Again, so you could do. You've got this map, and then you could put in text, uh, maybe heading. Again, I'm not, you know, this isn't going to be really well laid out. That's not my goal here. I just want to kind of give you some ideas. You could get uh, get directions, right? Or click here, maybe click here to get directions. And then you add a, an icon. And we'll go in here and set up a uh, Waze icon. Again, this would be for, for mobile. Again, this isn't going to work for, for a laptop or a tablet necessarily, but uh, it works great on a cell phone. And so you've got that icon there. Uh, you know, you want to center it, move it, or not center it, but move it up over there. Again, I'm not styling this. It doesn't really, I'm not going to spend uh, time styling this so it looks nice, but you get the idea. You know, you've got this map here. So you want to give people an easy way to get directions to your uh, to your place of business. So click here to get directions. You've got that there, and then uh, you know you set up the oops. Click on dynamic and set up the link just as I showed you. Uh, actions contact URL. Click that again. Go down to ways and boom, uh, and enter the location. It's that simple. I mean, it's very powerful. It's a very powerful feature. It's a feature that you know if you've got Pro. You have this feature available. It gives people way, you know, your your website visitors, your clients, your potential clients, ways to easily contact you, ways that you know you want them to contact you, um, or ways for them to find out how to get to your business. Ways to again, uh, there's no, I don't really have an event uh, set up here. Actually, this I didn't even notice. I hadn't. This is just a staging page. I didn't notice it's, it's down here, but you know, they've got like a telephone icon, a cell phone icon, a mail icon again. Uh, you could do that here. You've got the telephone icon. Uh, this does have a dynamic link. So you could right here, under this person's name, under this person's name, and under this person's name, down here under their contact information, make these dynamic action links. And that way, again, this becomes clickable. It's not just right now, it's a static thing, but you can make it clickable so that people can easily contact you, easily contact you know, here it's our agents. So, you know, you want people to easily contact your agents. Uh, these action links are, are the way to do it. Again, you can add in different ones, uh, however you want to set it up. And again, if you've got events that you hold, you can have people add, the, add your events to their calendars. So they don't forget about your event. So that those are action links. It's a very, very powerful tool. But again, it's one that I don't think a lot of people necessarily know about because again, it's not like you come over here. Like normally we're used to when it comes to adding something to Elementor, we come over or adding something from Elementor to our website, we come to these widgets, right? And we add a we drop drop and drag widget. Action links are not drop and drop drag and drop widgets. It's something that are it's a specific feature of certain widgets. But it's a very, very, very powerful feature. And so, you know. Uh, so I hope this video helped you. I hope maybe you know this was something you didn't know about or maybe you weren't sure how to set up. Uh, 
So that's it. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to do one, two, three uh, Elementor videos a week. And so, you know, if you subscribe, you get those videos. And I'm doing videos on other tools as well that help you grow your online business. And if this video did convince you to make the decision to, uh, to buy Elementor Pro, I will put my affiliate link in the video description. I do appreciate it if people buy the... <laughs> If people buy via my affiliate link, it does give me a little commission. It helps me continue to make all my material for free. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye.